Hey everyone, I posted this rendering on Instagram and a lot of you asked me to do a tutorial on how to create this beam of sunlight uh, grazing across this wall and the product and the shelf. So here we go. Here in Keyshot I have this uh, basic scene setup. I have the candle, a, a, a model from dimensia.com and uh, standing on a shelf. I have put some basic uh, materials on it and then uh, I, I want to do this lighting setup now. So the first thing I want to do is to go to environment and add a uh, interior HDRI to uh, to act as the basic lighting. So I drag this Dosh apartment two from my library, my environment library over to this list and it creates a uh, new environment where we have this uh, interior HDRI. Looks good so far. Next step is to make sure we have the uh, proper geometry needed to create this lighting effect. And first of all, we want uh, or we need the wall. Um, and you can have that from your, I mean, you can build that in your CAD software relating to this shelf, or you can add it in directly in Keyshot by going to edit, add geometry, and then adding a plane here. I have prepared it for my CAD already, so I can turn it on here. And I have um, put it on this uh, blue material as well. Okay, cool. So, uh, that's it so far. And to be able to create this uh, beam of light uh, coming down here, we need some shutters. Um, and I have modeled that in my CAD software as well, uh, in Moto in this instance. And um, as you can see, it's just two planes with a slit between them. And you could also have added those in by uh, going to edit, add geometry, and added in a plane here and, and position it. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I modeled it in Moto, so I had it from the beginning, and um, now we can have to uh, now we can take a look at the lighting. And what I need to do is to add in a tiny, tiny pin acting as this sun. Um, before doing that, I want to uh, take the brightness down of this background HDRI. So I go down to brightness, making sure I'm in the HDRI editor and have this background selected. Dragging brightness down. Um, let's zoom in a bit, just so I have the uh, reflections visible. And what is going on with the lighting here? Let's try and change it to product. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. Back to environment, I'm going to uh, hit the plus sign here, add pin, select add pin, and make sure my pin is selected, and then I'm going to decrease the radius to 0.5, so very small. And then for the brightness, I need something in the 25,000-ish. So type that in and hit enter. And uh, hey, we have a beam of light. Let's see what's uh, going on. Okay, whoops. Now I'm moving it around. Let's just drag it up again. Okay, so if we take a look around here in the scene, just hit done to the position here. Um, I can see I have my sphere oh, on my small pin up here. I will just hit uh, this uh, generate, full res <coughs> generate full resolution. So we get this round pin and everything is in high res as well. And um, now what is left is to uh, position uh, this pin and these shutters in relation to each other. So you get this uh, the beam in the right angle, uh, depending on what you need. So what you can do is to uh, select your shutters and move them. I have made a shortcut for my move tool, so I just hit W to uh, activate that. If you don't have that, you can right click and hit move selection. So here I can move the, the beam back and forth. And if I want to change the angle on it, I have to adjust uh, the pin either by adjusting the azimuth or the elevation. So if we change that, you can see we can have it like a vertical beam of light. Um, so just make sure that you play around with the, with these sliders to get the, uh, the look that you are after. In this case, I want something on an angle could be like this, and then I move it like here, and I have already set up a camera that I want to use for the angle, so I can go to camera and select that one, like this. And then I might want to try and change this to interior mode. Um, I've found that it rests up a bit faster and more noise-free as well, starting to have some fireflies here, but 
But if I uh, let it sit long enough, then they will disappear. And if you want to adjust um, the position while viewing this full view, you can always hit O on the keyboard to open up your geometry view. Go in here. Um, oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah. And with your shutters um, selected over here, you can right click and say move selection and then drag this back and forth to uh, fine adjust the position. And you can always go back here to environment and adjust the pin as well. like this and if you think it's generally too dark or too bright you can select your background here and adjust the brightness of that one make it darker or make it brighter i'll make it darker all right that's uh, all for this one hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, until next time take care